Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Love, respect, and salutations. Peace and blessings out there to you, sincere and hopeful elect, scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. This is your fellow servant Malachi, coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay Church. And this is a, a in transit lesson. All right, going into um, how you see the different things that's going on right now. All right, you have uh, Esau Edom. All right, you have their their house being divided right now. All right, but in that also, you know, these people are are are, are taking up arms. Okay, they're taking up arms. Uh, uh, they're going up to uh, making seditions of, uh, among men. All right. They're going against their uh, uh, their kings and their princes, as as the scripture says. But <clears throat> but the Lord, all right, He's saying that His children, all right, the elect, all right, the the, the children of the Most High, all right, they're not gonna take up no uh, uh, no arms. They're not gonna do anything, all right, when Esau come in to uh, 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 to come in when he comes in like a flood, all right. The Scripture says that it's written that these uh, 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 people will have uh, swords in their hands. So when you look at it in the modern day time, this is going to be Esau, Edom, the two thirds, the heathens. All right. They're going to be taking up arms to go against these uh, uh, martial law troops when they come in. All right. Uh, 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 you see um, uh, uh, the gun sales. All right. Ammunition. All these sales are just going up rampant. So the Lord saying, hey, this is this this is this is prophecy. All right. That you see right right in front of your eyes right now. These people are going to be out here shooting, all right, killing up each other, all right, have a sedition, all right. So many different things is getting ready to come to this place of Babylon the Great, all right. But for uh, for Israel, the elect, we're not going to take up any arms, all right. So let's just, uh, let's go ahead and get that right quick in, um, what, Zephaniah 3 and 8. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. It says, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. All right. That's what the Lord is saying. Wait. All right. He's getting ready to come and he's getting ready to uh, uh, decimate this this whole uh, 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 system that Esau, Edom, all right, has created. All right. So it says, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. All right, and that's what's happening right now in the background. All right, you got World War Three. All right, this is on. This is at its peak right now. All right, these different things is just it's amping up right now because everything is a part of prophecy. All right, as you read in the book of Matthew twenty-four, these things are just being amped up more and more. All right, you read in the book of Habakkuk two and two. All right, the vision is set for an appointed time. All right. So these things are the appointed time right now. These things are happening right now. All right. And it will not stop. Like the, the scripture says, though it tarry, wait for it. So this is what the men of the Lord are doing right now. We're waiting. All right. We're prophesying. All right. The downfall of this kingdom. But let's go back to uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire, with the fire of my jealousy. That's coming to the time of World War Three. All right. Happening right now in the background. Now you got the seditions among men. All right. All these different things, all these prophecies are happening right now. And they're happening much faster and faster. Matthew 24 goes also into... Uh, that the days be shortened for the elect's sake. All right. This is the time that we're in right now. All right. So we're going back to uh, the taking up the arms. We're not going to take up no arms because we already see the prophecies already unfolding right before our eyes. All right. So let's go back into that. Um, with the Psalms 44. All right. So we're going to start at uh, Psalms 44 verse 4. It says, Thou art my king, O power. Command deliverance for Jacob. That's what we're doing. We're 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 uh, uh, hoping, all right, and praying that the Lord shows favor in uh, uh, to us, all right, to deliver us, all right, from these coming times that we're in. Verse five. It says, "Through thee, 
uh, through thee will we push down our enemies through thy name. All right, through thy name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is how these kingdom, these kingdoms, all right, are getting ready to uh, uh, get mustered up in the Middle East. All right, through the name. All right, we're, we're, we're consuming this man. All right, by the spirit of our mouths. All right, condemning this man. All right, through the name. All right, the name is powerful. All right, so verse five. Through thee will we push down our enemies, because that's what we're doing right now. Psalms twenty-three. Going into um uh uh we have a, a, the tables the tables being uh uh made before our enemies rough, roughly paraphrasing all right so it says through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us so we don't have to take up no arms the name is strong enough that the Lord is going to deliver us from it that we don't have to uh, uh take up arms verse six it says for I will not trust in my bow. Neither shall my sword save me. All right, through the name, the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord is gonna save us. All right, through the names. All right, if you don't got the names in these times that, to, uh, that we getting ready to come, you're gonna be lost out here. You're gonna be the ones taking up the arms, shooting against these martial law troops, and guess what? You're gonna get your ass mowed down. All right, the Lord ain't with that. All right, you didn't have faith that you didn't trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he was going to deliver you. All right, this is why you're going to see so many people die. All right, so it reads on. It says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Um, it's another precept. Um, I believe that, Salaki, I believe that's what? Psalms 20. Salaki, let me get that right quick. Psalms 20. Psalms 20 and 7. All right. So this is the book of Psalms 20 and 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. All right. A lot of people trust in these governments. They trust in the military. They trust in uh, 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 their cars, their, mili their, 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 their vehicles. They trust in all these different things. All right. Which represent power. All right. It says some trust, uh, so like some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, our power. That's how important the name is, especially in these last days. So we're not going to be out here taking up arms. We're not going to be out here uh, protesting. All right, all these different things the Lord didn't command us to do. The Lord told us to wait. All right, until he rise upon the prey. Only thing we have to do is prophesy the downfall of his kingdom. All right. So uh, Psalms 44, all right, back in um, verse 7, it says, But thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hated us. All right, the Lord is getting ready to shame everyone upon this earth. All right, the Lord is getting ready to deliver his elect as it is written, all right, across the four corners of the earth. Verse 8, it says, In the Most High we boast all the day long. And praise thy name forever, Salah. And that's what we're doing right now. When you see these digital epistles, when you see the men of the Lord uh, 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 giving you uh, uh, a lot of exhortation, all right? When you see the men of the Lord out there on the highways and hedges, all right? So many different things, all right? The Lord, all right? We boast in the Lord all the day long, all right? This is where our confidence lay, all right? Um, or Psalms 33 and 6 goes into... Um, uh, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. All right. So if you don't have this knowledge, all right. If you don't have the knowledge and wisdom and understanding, all right, to even know what the name is or or, or what it stands for, even to break it down, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you will not be delivered in these times to uh, come. All right, because things are starting to heat up even more, and we're getting ready to see a lot of things get ready to unfold, especially here in the year 2021. All right. So, hey, don't trust in your boat. Don't trust in these uh, uh, guns, these these different things, because a lot of people are about to have a, a, a huge awakening. All right. Especially in these uh, in, in these end times. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Akim and Akwakim. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekha Double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone. 
peace and safety to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered abroad. It's your fellow servant Malachiah. Shalom.